The Navy MAK is a 2 to 4 MHz AM transceiver that's intended to be used on small craft such as motor launches and patrol boats, on craft too small for radio sets like the TCS. It's a four channel radio with both receive and transmit being controlled by crystals, and it's rated at 25 watts. The design is a simple four tube transmitter, two modulators, one oscillator, and one PA tube. And the receiver is a conventional five tube super het receiver with a 455 kilohertz IF. The set was originally powered by an external dynamoter deck, but I'm using a solid state HP 13 power supply. This HP 13 has been modified to provide the necessary voltages, but what you don't see on the schematic is the modulation reactor and relay for controlling the filament voltage on the transmitter. When you turn the transmitter on, it applies the filament voltage to the two modulator tubes and the one PA tube. This results in saving about three or four amps of current drain when you're not in transmit. We'll go ahead and key the transmitter. Adjust the plate tuning. Go for a resonant dip. Directly above the plate tuning is the antenna loading coils. Also on the front of the transmitter are two jacks that you could plug an external meter in to measure grid current or modulator current. We'll go ahead and actually try the transmitter into a load here and see how it works. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. The next thing will be pairing this transmitter with a portable antenna and a 12 volt battery and using it in the field. Uh, the intent is to be able to net with other World War II uh, 3885 AM handhelds and uh, portables.